Well, my name is Shelley Griffith, and um, I live up in Phillips, where I moved in 1988 to an old farmhouse. And um, but I've always worked in Farmington, mostly in uh, in nursing homes, so in a variety of roles. So um, I've had a lot of time to get to know. Um, the older people in the community and to just really come to appreciate their wisdom and their culture. How I became involved with the Earth Care Forum was just the stories that I heard from the older folks, you know, about what life was like when they were young and um, how strong the community resilience is in Maine. And part of it is just um, uh, being a grandmother and a mother and um, uh, being really aware of the earth that I'm passing on to my children. I'm Sherry Jenks and I've lived here in Farmington since about 1975. My husband and I moved here um, and, and built a house out on the Twig Snapper Road. And we've raised our family there. We still live there. It's a house in the woods and so um, just have a particularly wonderful connection with the woods and all that um, this wonderful earthly home offers us here in Maine um, for so many of us right outside our door. I've been involved in various activities at our church centered around um, the climate and earth care. I wanted to be involved in uh, this forum as it, it reaches a, a wider group of people. It's a more community-wide event. So the Earth Care Forum is a day of workshops and presentations. It's going to be on Saturday, April 1st at the Old South Church here in Farmington. And there will be presentations, workshops, display tables, and all things related to the earth, related to the environment, related to the climate, practical tools, uh, things that people can do either as individuals or in community to be good caretakers of the earth. One thing that we decided uh, to do with the forum is to um, uh, focus on practical and hopeful sorts of information that people can use to make the decisions and that they need to make in their lives because the world is changing pretty fast these days and there are just a lot of things to consider. There is a, a keynote speaker at the beginning. That will start at about 9 o'clock. The doors will open about 8.30. By that time, the tables, where people have um, presentations at, at a table level, those will be all set up and people can visit them all through the day. And then we'll have workshops. I think we have um, the capacity for four uh, excuse me, for eight workshops throughout the morning. There'll be two, two groups of four possible um, workshops to go to. And then in the afternoon, there will also be uh, some workshops to go to. And in between will be uh, a free lunch. It's all free, actually. But a free lunch of uh, homemade bread and homemade soup and homemade goodies. At the end, we'd like to draw everybody back together and um, the presenters and the attendees and have kind of an open discussion uh, based on what happened during the day and, you know, have extra questions can be asked at that time or extra information given, but also just as kind of a sense of what the day has meant to people. The whole subject of climate change um, is just really broad and it's overwhelming. I know for myself, you know, I think I went through a period of time where it's like, this is so overwhelming, um, taking care of the environment and the climate, you know, where do you begin? And then coming to the realization that anything is good any small steps we can take, practical steps that we can take to um, mitigate climate change or just to take care of the earth. So um, that's a 
part of the important focus of this forum is to give people that kind of information. I think it was a year or so ago the, the uh, Maine Climate Council had a, a big uh, gathering and one of the things that, they, that the uh, presenters there talked about, many of them were local community organizers, and they talked about um, how people tend to get kind of put off by the words climate change but if you ask them about what the issues are in their community, then a lot of times those issues and things that need to happen to address climate change are, are one and the same. So someone might be saying, well, man, my energy bill is just out of sight. You know, I need to do something. I'd like to know more about heat pumps. They may be coming from a place of economics, but in the bigger picture, it's a big step for um, taking better care of the environment. When we started looking in, the, in this community for people who would be interested in per coming to the workshop and making presentations, people just came out of the woodwork. There were so many people, you know, and so much enthusiasm, and, and that is another great source of hope for me that, you know, beyond the, just beyond the, the um, cameras, so to speak, <laughs> that there, there are all kinds of people, you know, at a community, at community levels who are working really hard on this stuff. One of the key words that we have focused on in, in putting this together has been hopeful. So that, that is the attitude that, um, yes, as Shelley said, the world's changing. Um, we all uh, are, are I'm pretty sure that climate is changing at this point. <laughs> and so um, we've tried to focus on things that people can really do, um, as we said, as individuals also in community, um, to just be better caretakers and prepare for the changes that are happening now and will continue to happen. The primary focus, I guess I would say, has been, you know, folks who are interested in earth care and um, climate issues and want to know more practically about that. Uh, but also it, anybody, you know, who's, you know, if you're a little tentative about the whole climate change thing, um, I think it, it would be a great thing, for, uh, a great event for you to come from too because you um, you will hear a lot of practical things that will not only help the environment but also help you. I draw hope from, uh, for one thing, I draw hope from youth. <laughs> when I look at a lot of the things that um, younger people are doing and I have a lot of hope in the resilience of the earth in general. I think if we treat the earth well, if we do things to be good caretakers of the earth, that gives me hope too that, that we can prepare, we can, be, um, we can respond, and um, I think we can take good care of our earthly home. The when is Saturday, April 1st from 8.30 to 3.30. The where is at Old South Church it's 235 Main Street in Farmington. If, they, if people want more information, they can call 207-778-0424, which is the church's number. Somebody will connect you with a person who has information, or they can email earthcareforum.com, uh, um, and I will do my best to answer their, their questions. And if I don't know the answer, I'll find out and, and, email, and email them back. So we're offering um, pre-registration, not for particular workshops, but it's more for planning purposes. This is the first time we've um, hosted the forum, so to have an idea of how many people might be planning to come. So we would welcome that at either the phone number or the e um, Gmail address. Please come, bring your friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.